Hey, Shalom Saints, this is Brother Mitchell back again with another video uh, with Straightway. I um, want to come on real quick and just give a quick praise report to you guys. But before I do that, I just wanted to have a talk uh, concerning things that Pastor uh, made mention of. I think yesterday or today he made a video and he talked about a problem that he has with the brethren or sisters or saints in general. Just pertaining to things uh, which he says. We say that we're following him as he follows Christ, but yet you know, when he says go out and get this book, Hey guys, you need to uh, work on um, uh, putting these certain things into practice. Uh, how many of us actually go out and do it? Or how many of us actually go out and purchase these books and learn from them or learn history so that way we don't continue to repeat the same mistakes of the past? Things of that nature. So basically, um, a few of you guys already know uh, from my last video, I went out and I got a book called um, The Atlas right here of the Human Anatomy. And basically, because what we want to do is learn the human body. Why? Because we want to be able to uh, lay on hands and we want to be able to command the correct things to go back into their proper order or place, should we say. We want the uh, ministering power of the Ruach HaKadosh, His Holy Spirit, uh, His gifts, which He makes available to all those who believe, who uh, keep His commandments and follow His law, statutes, and commandments, should I say. Also, uh, also showed you guys in the last video of uh, this Merc Manual. Now, this is not the same Merc Manual that he held up at Shabbat service, but this is a Merc Manual nonetheless. Uh, both of these, which I just showed you, actually, uh, actually, uh, they come together. Uh, they don't come together, but it, on Amazon, you know how they show you uh, these are commonly bought together. And when you look in the reviews, many people who are actually going to school to study, uh, they purchase these two together. Uh, so anyway... Uh, now to the praise report, and uh, you know I really appreciate Pastor showing us his information, Pastor Doc showing us information along with the elders and whatnot. And anyway, so uh, we all know that uh, the Father does not hear to praise the sinners, and we also know he that turns his ear from hearing the law, even his prayers is an abomination. And um, and so anyway, so we took this particular saint who was having some problems, and uh, this saint basically was having abdominal pain. Um, it had a few other problems, and uh, we narrowed it down by reading this Merc man that Pastor showed us. We purchased it, and uh, we narrowed it down to something called colitis, uh, maybe parasites, and also uh, E. coli. And these are some of the root causes of this happening. Now, the Father, you know, he's already said he's going to put these diseases upon us that are, that are not even written in the book. We all know this. So, us as saints, us as uh, Yah's people, brothers and sisters, you know, we shouldn't be walking around with disease. We shouldn't have to be dealing with, um, you know, acid reflux. We shouldn't be having to deal with heartburn and, and uh, diabetes and things. We shouldn't be dealing with these things, lupus and all these other crazy diseases out there. So we know that Yah is the one who healeth us. And this is why Pastor is telling us to know our enemy, to get these things. And so, Pastor, uh, what I'm about to share, hey, feel free to uh, copy this, post it even up on your own channel because... Uh, this video will reach a lot more people by uh, way of you posting it, not just me. You have a small following, you have a great large following. So, be a Liberty uh, Shepherd, uh, copy it, throw it up. Anyway, uh, and we and so basically what we did, we took the particular saint and uh, we besought the fathers. What we did first and foremost, um, we wanted to stir up the spirit in, in, in this house, in the tabernacle, on the Shabbat. And uh, we went forth laying hands on this particular saint. And immediately, uh, this saint instantly began to feel better. And we felt a thick, I mean heavy, anointing in, in, in the room. And it was a beautiful thing. And we give all the Father the praise and the glory for it. Uh, because we ain't do nothing. You know what I mean? We're just vessels, a willing vessel with that. And, uh, you know, some vessels to honor, some vessels to dishonor. You know, we were just a willing vessel is what we were in order to uh, carry uh, Yah's uh, word out to carry uh, his will out, you know. Uh, so anyway, this particular saint began to feel well immediately. Uh, right away, was no longer nauseous, uh, no longer was dizzy, no longer was weak. Appetite began to come back, things of that nature. Uh, within, uh, I called the saint today, hey, better, you know. And I up until this point could not get no relief. Think about that. Up until this point could not get no relief. And... Uh, you got to think about it. when you read the Gospels and you see the things that the Messiah, which he did. Many people came uh, lame, sick, blind, things of this nature. And these people had no relief. And so when people have no relief and 
we are keeping the laws, the statutes, and the commandments. We should not be feeling these things. And we have the testimony of Yeshua HaMashiach, Jesus Christ. And we have his power with us. And we feel the baptism of the Holy Spirit. We shouldn't be going through these things. So anyway, we know that, um, and for some of you home fellowships, you know, whether you're here with me in Houston, whether you're in South Carolina, whether Austin, uh, KC, Georgia, uh, with Brother Randy and, and uh, Brother Ron and them over at, at the Covenant, wherever you may be, home fellowships, you know, don't wait till you get to straight away. Pastor made a good uh, statement, and he was preaching. And I want to say this this was prior to Tabernacle Sukkot 2015 kicking off at Straightway. Uh, possibly, or maybe thereafter, I'm not sure. But he made the statement, you all going to know what I'm talking about. He talked about encouraging himself. And then he also talked about trusting the leadership, trusting the men uh, which you are under. And if you're up under an elder, if you're up under any man, period, strengthen that man. You see what I'm saying? Now, the, the word tells us to go into the elders, right, uh, in the book of Acts. They went into the elders uh, whenever they had an issue, whenever they had a problem, whatever the case may be. Uh, but many of us, what we do, we wait till we get, we wait till we get to straightway, and we wear our pastor dial, where all the elders that sur- lives around there, including Elder Becker, Spinney, Donnie, things of that nature. And we wear out the sisters and the mothers, you know what I'm saying, just because they live on the land. And um, But we have the same power, we have the same power available to us in our, perpe- in our perspective, uh, respective, I'm sorry, state, home fellowship, city, whatever the case may be. People just, they fail to use it. I don't know why, but they just do. Um, so anyway, even if you do not, what we call, have the gift of land on of hands. Think about this. Uh, according to your faith. What about that? And I believe it's uh, the book of Matthew. Um, Jesus went about, it was probably around chapter 9 or 10. And it was a blind man. And uh, he wanted to receive his sight. And the master, Yeshua Mashiach, the Messiah, uh, said unto him, according to thy faith. You know what I'm saying? So we all know, and even according to your faith, you know, even if you don't, what you call, have the spirit of laying on of hands, according to the one who's doing the work, according to you, which uh, is trying to be uh, made whole, you can be healed. So the Father, uh, he gives to those who love him. You know what I mean? And uh, we have to be obeying his law, statutes, and commandments, and have the testimony of him, be filled through Rock HaKadosh, we're good. And so anyway, we got to do the work. So anyway, once again, this is the Mark Manual. This is the one past the held up. Like I said, it's the 19th edition, the latest one that I could find. And uh, the Atlas of uh, Human Anatomy. Learn the body, learn your enemy, and uh, do the work. You know, Yah's our only healer. We have no healing medicines. Uh, he is. He's, on, he's the only one who we can actually truly trust in. So anyway, do the work. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hope you guys enjoyed the testimony. Uh, we have saints down here that, uh, that are feeling the power of the Father. And we call on to be here among us. So bless you, Saint Shalom, and I hope you enjoyed the video.